Hey everyone, welcome to this new video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will be putting together a light on various job roles on data science. Data science is rapidly growing field that has emerged as a key driver of innovation and progress in various industries. It involves the use of advanced statistical and computational technique to extract insights and knowledge from vast and complex data sets. Data scientist works with a variety of data sources, including structured and unstructured data, and use tools such as statistical modeling, machine learning, and data visualization to make sense of the information. They play a crucial role in helping organizations make data-driven decisions that can lead to improved performance, greater efficiency, and better outcomes. With the explosive growth of data in today's digital age, the demand for skilled data scientists continues to rise, making it an exciting and rewarding career path for those with a passion for analytics and problem solving. So if you are looking to become one, then do check Simply Learn's postgraduate program in data science, where you will gain expertise with exploratory data analysis, descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, model building and fine tuning, supervised and unsupervised learning, natural language processing and more. With the knowledge of the tools like NumPy, Python, Panda, SciPy, you will attract major recruiters in the industry. So hurry up and find the course link in the description box for more details. Our learners have experienced huge success in their career. Listen to their experience, find the Simply Learn course reviews link in the description box. So without any further ado, Let's begin by knowing various job roles in data science. So let's take a look at some of the roles a data science plays in the job market. Let's drill in there just a little bit here. So when you have a data scientist, they're going to perform predictive analysis and identify trend and patterns that can help in better decision making. Companies hiring data scientists include Apple, Adobe, Google, Microsoft. Um, I would say that's even expanding down to smaller companies, you know, where you're talking about only 100 employees or something like that. They're starting to look at data scientists because they need them to come in and be a part of that team. And the role is understanding challenges of a system and offer best solutions. This should always be the goal of a data scientist, is to be looking at the whole system and then trying to find those patterns that are going to best enhance the company or the business or the um, whatever group, maybe you're working with the sales team or the marketing team. And you can see languages. Um, pretty important to have a these are a number of different languages and again it depends on your own specialty there's all kinds of different variations but we have R, SAS, Python, MATLAB, SQL, Hive, Pig, Spark you should have at least a knowledge of all of these maybe a Python programmer never used R download it and go through the basics so at least you know what's going on in R versus Python because R is pretty powerful for doing a very quick display and then of course a lot of things you can do in Python you have to be able to do queries on database from time to time, create and modify algorithms which can be used to reduce information from large databases. I and mean, usually this is one of those things you do at the beginning, you set it up and then you kind of let it go until it breaks and then you have to go back and fix it because your query isn't working. That certainly is a very common thing to, to have happen, especially if you're pulling data off the web and the internet. And then we have some more companies that are hiring data analysis like IBM, DHL, HP. And so we're talking about data analysis the role is responsible for a variety of tasks such as visualization, optimization, and processing large amount of data. And so when you're talking about a data analyst, we're also we're still talking a lot of the same stuff, but you'll see we now thrown in JavaScript and HTML in here, because um, that's pretty common with a data analyst versus a data scientist. And you can see that SQL is still pretty solid, and also um, C, C++ is pretty big. So some companies also use Java, so I'd put Java in the languages also on that for a data analyst. And then you have a data architect, ensuring that data engineers have best tools and systems to work with. And so companies hiring a data architect are like Visa, Logitech, Coca-Cola. 
They create blueprints for data management with the best security measures. I cannot highlight uh, that a data architect really spends a lot of time with security measures. That's big. How many hacks have we seen in the last year on large companies that have lost data for millions of their customers and how badly that affects them? And we're looking at languages. Uh, SQ, you see that SQL is pretty solid across all of these. Under a data architect, XML. That's one that a lot of the data science jobs don't really you don't see as much, but you're going to see more XML with a data architect because there's a lot of XML files that are that have your security measures embedded in them. And of course, your Hive, Pig, those are Hadoop systems for doing some basic queries. Uh, so instead of doing the high-end queries, you now have these simplified query systems built into Hadoop and Spark. So if you're using big data, you're going to want to know your Spark also. And then we have our data engineer. The data engineer updates the existing systems with better version of the current technologies to improve the efficiency of the databases. Think admin here. A lot of work tracking down what version you're in of the different programs. What version of Python are you using? What version of R are you using? What version of C++? So companies hiring data engineers are like Amazon, Spotify, Facebook. And they develop, construct, test, and maintain architectures such as databases and long-scale processing systems. And here we have our languages, our SQL, R, MATLAB, SAS, SPSS, Python, Java, Ruby, C++, Perl, Hive, Pig. You pretty much as a data engineer at this level, when you're talking about admin and updating all these databases, you need to know all the different stuff that's being used in the company. And you're testing out these structures to make sure they work. And so you really are talking admin level uh, kind of setups. So if you like spinning up an admin onto a Google Cloud service or Amazon Cloud service, now you start to get an idea of what we're talking about because then you can test it out up there and then you can bring it back and update it to the company. Statistician creates new methodologies for engineers to apply. And so when, you, when we look at this, this is where we're digging into the math of which models to use, what setup's going to work, what kind of activation do we have on our neural network. These little tweaks are going to make uh, a big difference. And we look for methodologies at a large level. What kind of data are we going to be looking at and how are we going to pull it together? Companies hiring a data engineer, or we're talking about statisticians, we're talking about LinkedIn, PepsiCo, Johnson & Johnson, and of course, these companies probably hire a little bit of everything, but they have a lot of statisticians working for them. Um, and so we look at the role, extract and offer valuable reports from the data clusters through statistical theories and data organization. And the languages across the board, we're still seeing SQL, R, MATLAB, SAS, SPSS, Data. That's a new one that we haven't seen in some of the other roles. Python, Perl, an older version. And that shouldn't be a surprise because a lot of these companies probably built a lot of the original packages on Perl. If you go look at Johnson & Johnson. And of course, your big data, Hive, Pig, and Spark. And then our database administrator. Um, I mentioned the other one is an admin. They're more an admin level for the software itself. So administrator is another level. Some of the tasks involved are monitoring, operating, and maintaining databases, installation, configuration, defining schemas, training users, etc. Um, and this is interesting, training users, because when you build a database and you define all the different um, tables that are embedded in that database and how they're all connected, the end user's got to have that information, otherwise you're in trouble. When we have companies hiring data engineers, um, of course, Tableau, Twitter, Reddit. Uh, the role ensures that all the databases are available to all relevant users. Again, a little security in there, what role do they have, who's allowed in and not. And is performing correctly and is being kept safe. And you better be ready to spend some time in security because, again, that's a very big thing nowadays with the number of people who hack into these databases. And the languages are going to be covered. You have your uh, C Sharp, your Java, SQL, Ruby on Rails, XML. Again, there's that XML because a lot of your security is embedded in XML files. Um, Python, all the main players, depending on what the company's using. Data and Analytics Manager. So when you see manager, that means that somebody's going to sit on top and organize the people underneath. So they're going to improve the business process as an intermediary between business and IT. Oh, you better have some really good communication skills for this one. Uh, some of the companies hiring a data engineers are uh, Coursera, Motorola, Slack. And of course, these companies are hiring data scientists in almost all of these fields. So the role oversees the data science operations and assigns the duties to the team according to skills and expertise. Um, so that's a big one. You better be able to communicate what's going on. Help your team members 
come out and be able to communicate with other people. So sometimes your job is just being able to get people to talk to each other. And the big thing on that is, is the whole communication line going from one end to the other. Because you can't communicate all the information that everybody's working on. You have to pretty much come in there and, and help people communicate what there's going on. And also know what they're up to without being micromanagement. Because that will crash a company if you micromanage everybody. But if you just let them do whatever they want and they never talk to each other, that will also destroy the company. you got to find that nice middle ground. And you really have to have an overview of everything as a data and analytics manager. One of the things, I mean, you know, it's good to have at least one or two solid bases of programming under your belt for a data analytics manager, uh, but you do need to have a very general understanding of all the different tools being used so that you know what's going on with your different team members. Of course, SQL, R, SAS, Java, Python, MATLAB, all of those are big. Business analytics. Uh, so this is, when you're talking about your BI or your business intelligence and your business analytics, very important to know this is kind of a subdivision of a lot of the other stuff we've talked about, a lot of the other roles we've looked at. Uh, so you possess specialized knowledge of their business domain and apply that knowledge and analysis specifically to the operation of the business. Uh, so you might be a specialist in banking. You might be a uh, genetics engineer, so you know about genetics. You might just be general business, um, helping them marketing. So a lot of companies hiring data engineer are Oracle, Uber, Dell. And the role acts as a link between the data engineers and the management executives. So it's very similar to when we go back up here and we look at data analytics manager. A business and analytics is going to also kind of fill that role in between, but they're more specialized in business. And you better know SQL because we're talking about business specifically. Uh, most of the large companies are storing their data that's up and running right now that people are accessing to purchase something on the Home Depot website or the Uber. They're logging in. You better know your SQL. It's very central to business analytics. So here we wrap up this short video on job roles in data science. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. Stay tuned with us for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.